Hey, welcome to a new mobility practice. Today we're working on external rotation in the knee joint. We oftentimes think of the knee as only being able to flex and extend, so to bend the leg and straighten the leg, but the knee also has the ability to rotate. Not as much as the hip, it's not designed the same way, but it has to some degree the ab ability to do that. And if our knees are only moving in flexion and extension, and then there's a situation in training or in any activity or day-to-day -day life where we require this, ex this external or internal rotation of the knee and we don't really have it, then usually injury happens. And so it's good to prepare the knees to move in all directions, flexion, extension, internal rotation and external rotation and we are also publishing four videos that target all these four movements. In today's video we will focus only on external rotation. If you want to continue after this class with the internal rotation video you can just click up here and watch that. Flexion and extension are also coming very soon. This mobility training is based on functional range systems and we're using specifically today pails and rails as the techniques to open up new range of motion. So to expand the existing range that we have and most people don't have much or almost none of range of motion. So this is a very much needed start to be able to rotate a bit in the knee just for you to stay safe so that you can come back to your activities, to your training, to your activities uh, in day-to-day -day life or on a hike, whatever happens, you know, sometimes there are situations that are unforeseen and we need this rotation in the knee. So it helps to prevent injuries, to overall be more mobile and also stronger. This video has two parts. So the first one is the controlled articular rotations, so where we prepare the knee for the upcoming mobility training. I'm also only guiding you through two sets of the mobility practice for each knee, but know that you can do more if you want to, up to four even, once or twice a week if you wish. Let's begin with the left leg with our controlled articular rotations. So sit on a pillow or a small towel, like I am here, like a rolled up blanket, just a little bit more comfortable. You bend one leg a lot, and then you hug the other leg, the one that we're working with first, into the chest, grab your biceps with your hand, grab the knee, and then we're externally rotating the tibia. The rotation is coming from the knee. You extend the leg, internally rotate and bend. Externally rotate, straighten. Internally rotate, bend, one more. This is something I do every single morning as part of my full body cars mobility routine. That was three rounds, that's usually enough. Now we can put the heel down and we bring the knee into external rotation. So I just use my hand to show it and make it a little bit more drastic, but you can move on the, on see for yourself right now too how much internal rotation you have and how much external rotation you have. Whatever it is, is perfect, and we're here to work on uh, increasing it and creating more. So you externally rotate, and you stay there. I like to grab the knee a little bit from the inside or um, above, and with your other hand, you grab the inside of your foot, so on the big toe side. You're now not pulling on the foot or anything, you just relax here. First, we have to stay for two minutes to prepare and open up the, the tissues. And then we continue with our joint strength training, which uh, really is mobility training. Mobility training is strength training for the joints. So stay with the breath. Currently filming this here in Mexico and we've been filming all day. This is the last video of today. And the neighbor decided to have a garden party and play some music. So I hope he enjoys the party and I hope it's not too loud in the video. When you travel full time and you just film in yoga studio spaces or 
spaces we have through friends or yoga studios or so you just never know if there's a construction starting next door or not those are the things that never no one sees on youtube so we're here for two minutes so i'm not just uh, talking because i like to talk but to just bridge those two minutes you got about 30 more seconds At this point, I can also mention that we have more mobility practices like this for other joints. For example, the hips, very important as well to have mobile hips. And there's more coming for the spine, the elbows, shoulders. So just, so just check out the mobility playlist on the channel, uh, which we recently created. All right, that's two minutes. Now you keep locking the the knee, you block the leg as well, the, the ankle in your end range and then you start to internally rotate, so rotate the ankle towards the right but your hand is blocking it. 20% effort, 40%, 60%, 80% and 100% your safest greatest effort. We're holding here for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax and then externally rotate even more with your own internal strength. Now you can remove the hand and just really try to rotate the ankle, the tibia, the shin to the left for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax, hold the foot, stay in the end range, slow breath in for 4 seconds, exhale for 8, again inhale 4, Exhale for eight. If you need more time, then take more time. Just pause the video. But we'll continue with one more set of pails and rails. And then we switch to the other knee. All right, so again, put everything in position. Hold the knee a little bit to support. Block the foot. We start to internally rotate the, the tibia and uh, that means the foot to the right but your hand is blocking it 20% 40% 60 80% 100% your safest greatest effort so you're working really hard from within but nothing is moving for 10 9 keep squeezing rotating to the right Fight for more range of motion. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax and immediately externally rotate more. More, more, more for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. The shin wants to externally rotate more to the left. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax, nice and slow. Very good. Bring both feet to the ground, shake out the legs. You might feel some soreness the next days, which will feel very different because it's coming from the capsule, from the knees, but it feels kind of nice. And you also feel that you did some work and that it worked. Um, but of course, with one session, as with everything, if you do it once, usually there's not much happening. So you need to put in the work uh, over and over again. Let's switch to the right knee. First, again, controlled articular rotations. Hug the right thigh in, grab the biceps with the left hand, grab the knee. Externally rotate, straighten. Internally rotate, bend. Externally rotate, straighten. Internally rotate, bend. One more. And this side should be a lot quicker since you now know what we're about to do. 
put the heel down. With your right hand now grab the inside of the foot and first bring the, the knee in maximum external rotation. So that means the tibia, the shin is externally rotating to the right as well as the ankle and the foot. Then you just gently hold it there. You're not pushing, you're not pulling, squeezing anything. Just hold it. Support the knee if you want and we're here for two minutes. This is a follow along video as all the classes and practices and tutorials we put out. That's why they're all longer. There's no such thing as 30 seconds to bulletproof knees or anything like this. It, it's just not possible. That's not, not how it works. There's so much to explain as you know and it takes some, some practice and after d doing it yourself for a couple of times then you understand how, how it works and what to do. So although we would like to offer five minutes to bulletproof knees and five minutes to the splits and open hips, it's just not, not our style if you do follow along. So now we're doing the first side. We got about one more minute uh, to go here in preparing the tissue and opening the, the knee up in external rotation. Now if you watch this video and you see me, there's not much happening, there's not much movement happening, but I'm working really hard from within. In the end range you actually have no movement, so you cannot move where you cannot move. So if you're in your end range, there's no, no control for you there. And we're really try trying our best to still engage the muscles and all the tissues to teach the nervous system that it's okay to be there and to allow us to move even further. So this is a lot also of our nervous system training. So we are overriding the stretch reflex so that the nervous system starts to trust us more that we can control this range. All right, let's do our pails and rails techniques. Start to put everything in place. And first we start to internally rotate the knee into the hand, but the hand is blocking it. 20%, 40%, 60%, 80% effort, squeeze into the hands and 100%, your safest, greatest effort for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relax and externally rotate. Fight for more. It's all coming from the internal strength, rotating your shin to the right. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Hold the foot again from the inside and relax. Inhale for four. Exhale for eight. Inhale for four. Exhale for eight. you need more time, pause the video, continue with these breaths, four in, eight out, and then we continue. Put everything in place, lock the foot, and start to squeeze the foot with internal rotation into the hand, 20% effort, 40%, 80%, skip the 60 here, but it's okay, we're going to 100%, Safest, greatest effort for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Keep squeezing, fight for more range of motion, more space. Squeeze into the hand. 3, 2, 1. Relax and externally rotate more. 15, 14, 13. 
12, 11, 10, 9. Keep externally rotating to the right. Everything that's below the knee tries to rotate to the right. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And slowly relax. Very good. Put both feet down, both heels down. Shake out the legs. Beautiful job. Thank you for joining me today for this mobility practice. It is very different than our other offerings here on the channel. I know it sounds fun to go through a flow practice, do chaturangas and just get lost in the flow. This is very specific joint training, super important. So do your best to integrate this into your week. So still do your yoga movement practice, do your other trainings, whatever you do, lifting, martial arts, whatever it is, keep it going. This is not a replacement for any of it. This is just an addition that will help you to prevent injuries, have stronger joints, more mobility, more range, more range of motion, and just overall to be more mobile and strong. If you liked this practice today, then please support the channel, like the video, subscribe, check out the other mobility practices we have here, and I'll see you on the mat again tomorrow. Thank you so much for practicing with me today.